Fast Friday. I don't know what day it is. It's November. Hoo boy. Okay, I've got a lot to unpack, but I, as always, want to keep this under 10 minutes. And in fact, I have a phone call in like 11 minutes, so I've got to keep this short. But that's okay, I can do it. I just had a, it's, fa- it's Friday. I fasted yesterday, last night. In fact, I didn't eat from like lunch, which was awesome. I got to say, it's helpful to not be at home. So I had, a, I had my improv class. And they don't know I didn't have dinner. So anyway, okay, sorry. Back to the matter at hand. Here we go. I just did a past life regression meditation for 51 minutes. It was ridiculously awesome. And I, you know, traveled back in time. Uh, (laughs) And if you haven't heard some of these more spiritual sides of my existence, then you're in for a shock or a treat or both but and I record these and I oddly put them up on my pasta sour cream site I'm not going to tell you how to find it it's there if you can I'm not hard to find but I record my experiences that I uh yeah my adventures with those past life regressions. So that one's, it's, it's called something like deer, like D E R or deer dude or deer guy or whatever. Okay. But that's not what I want to talk about here on fast Friday. I fasted last night, felt great. I lost 0.7 kilos since last week. Yay. I'm almost at my balance of how to figure out, like, I think it's five, two, I think it's five days eating or five nights eating and two nights fasting. I think I'm going to need 5-2 to keep my weight to stay stable. Okay, that's awesome. I feel really good about losing 0.7 kilos. I feel great this morning, up early, full of energy. Did my meditation, really into it. And here's the idea I actually want to talk about today. And it's the title of this. I'm going to give the title of this audio and video. And it's a potential book idea. Warning, warning, disclaimer, disclaimer, red team, red team, attack. Yeah. Uh, It's called Alone with Everyone. And the idea is, here I am, uh, right now, I'm not, clearly not doing video because I am, I'm actually on my back, on the ground, on the floor, in my bathroom, my my legs, my calves are up on a chair. I've got my eye mask on, so it's totally dark. I can't see a thing. I'm holding my phone in front of me to record this audio. And it's basically what I'm doing is I'm reducing the inputs around me. So I can't hear anything. I have my headphones on still. I can't hear anything. I can't see anything. I'm super relaxed, and I can just get this quick message out. I just did a past life regression meditation. And again, you can go find it on my past the sour cream site. But the idea there is that I'm here alone on this Friday morning. My kids are off to school. My wife's off to work. And I'm here doing a past life regression meditation, which if you know me is not that strange. But if you don't know me and you think, whoa, that's interesting. And why am I doing this? So I just had this past life regression meditation. So pretty intense. They're kind of out there if you're not into that kind of stuff. But I think that we all have quite the spiritual, supernatural powers or capabilities, whatever you want to call them to connect with the, with others, to connect with our spirit, to connect with higher self, to connect with whatever gods you might associate with or believe in or however you want to word that, this higher something or other. And I, in fact, I know we can all do it. It's very much like we all are very creative. It's just, we hope we suppress it. We all are very communicative. We just are have limits or boundaries or we don't know how to do it so here along the same lines I can see very clearly I with my eyes closed I mean I'm very visual and then this is another reason I do this I'm recording this right now 
to recap and to then deepen the experience. Because if you have an experience and then you talk it through, just like I'm doing now for under 10 minutes, because I don't want you to go on forever. I don't want me to go on forever. I want to talk something through and get it out. So I just had this, in my opinion, this is super fun. I know, and you might think like, how is that fun? I just had this mind-to-mind connection with some person from the past. So take that as an example. That's great. How about a meditation where you just feel great? How about an experience where you're, remember, I'm, I'm alone here. I'm in my bathroom, right? In the dark. And I'm extremely alone. And yet I'm with everyone. So the point of what I want to say right here is how to be awesome in your aloneness, how to be your true greatness in your ancient, on your own, by yourself. Because I think and I believe and I almost know that the better you are when you're alone, the better you can be with others. And believe me, I am not promoting only being alone and being a hermit and never seeing other people. Not and not at all. To the contrary, I think that be we need alone time, absolutely. But what it, it and what it does is then helps our relationships with others so that we can be with everyone because we're truly better together. Just read an article this morning about how you know, all this convenience in our lives, probably especially in the United States, of not having to do anything. No more interactions with salespeople. No more going to the bank. No more going to the store. No more, do, you don't have to lift a finger. Well, we're missing out on interactions with other people, for better or worse. But that's where we learn. That's where we grow. So, first being alone and being good with being alone helps us to be better together. So first, be better alone. And this, for me, it's mostly through meditation. I'd be happy to talk more about meditation if you'd like to hear about it. But for me, what I experience in meditation helps me be better alone. In fact, I absolutely love doing this. I do not have to meditate. Nobody knows I'm doing this. My family's all out of the house. I could go paint pink polka dots on the wall if I wanted. I could walk with the dog. I could do anything I wanted right now. And this is what I choose to do because this better alone makes me better together. And we are alone with everyone. How to be better alone so you can be better with everyone. All right, I'm stopping there just to tease it a little bit because it's a fantastically powerful, beautiful thing. And I think it could be the answer to, or one of the answers to our own happiness and joy and meaning in our lives. Alone with everyone. That's my fast Friday after having fasted last night. I actually fasted pretty well this week. So I'm feeling fantastic and phenomenal. (laughs) Okay, see you next week. Enjoy. Keep creating.